What's up guys, it's Oblivious Gamer here and well, I actually wasn't planning to do a video today but I did stumble upon something that I at least didn't know was out and that is with regards to SD Gundam Battle Alliance. And well, I know during Anime Expo like Bandai had like a booth uh, especially specifically for Gundam. I know they showcased Gundam Evolution and apparently they did also showcase SD Gundam Battle Alliance. And they uploaded the gameplay like a day ago or two depending on when I end up editing this video video and I just saw it. This is obviously the first time for me seeing full gameplay so it's not like a trailer that has cuts like what 14 minutes of gameplay and to be honest this is a game I was very interested in and looking forward to it and after watching the gameplay I have to say I am excited for this game. Now, before I continue, if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe. So as I mentioned, I want to try to keep this video brief. I feel this is a bit old news and it's just me, you know, reacting and going over some of the stuff that we see. So during the first 10 minutes, it's just some introductory gameplay where we get to see Jim or at least a person is using Jim or GM, but everybody pronounces it Jim. And it looks okay from that video. I mean, it's a mobile suit. It's a very well-known mobile suit. And they're showcasing like a bit of the movement, gameplay. But for me, I actually got interested when we start playing as Barbatos. Especially with Barbatos being a more melee-oriented suit. And we get to see a lot of the melee combat aspect and i think it looks fun it's looking fantastic with some of the moves at least with what we see it seems suits will have like a main weapon and they will have two sub weapons there's also going to be like a burst or a boost gauge that we can see and it drains as you boost yourself it seems it's going to be fairly lenient with the boost like i don't see it drain too quickly compared to other games like if you play maxi boost on oh, that's a bit different with the boost but i feel this is going to be more lenient and i feel this is going to lead to more interesting interactions and fights and opportunities and different ways to approach because you're not too concerned with running out of it and we see also it recovers i think it recovers fairly quickly we also see like barbatus has like a ton of options with melee and i'm just looking at this and i'm like I really want to play this game. It also seems some moves will use some of the boost gauge. At least maybe those there's going to be certain moves that will re- Oh well, there are moves that use the boost. So of course that's going to drain them. I also do like the HUD. The way that like everything is placed and you also have like interactions between like pilots and like apparently uh, people that are directing you. They're probably going to be explained in the plot. But for example, you see Mikasuki here in the situation. And eventually like the video culminates with them being like a boss fight. With going against Ayn and I think the boss fight looks very fun. We also see like a bit of elements of co-op since there's other players playing. I mean we see two Barbatos. I'm just like damn this looks like it's gonna be really fun to play with friends. Just have a good time. I don't feel though it's perfect. So during the boss fight for example I just want to highlight something. So during the boss fight you know how like you're fighting in a city and at times during certain moments like the camera is spinning and you literally like see the buildings and that blocks for a couple of seconds your view which i think at sometimes it could get frustrating depending on who you are and like what is the situation so that's like a concern that i have with the camera when you're in areas like this one for example a city and they obviously like fix it by like you just see through the building but there are moments where like you're literally looking at the building and it annoys the view it's not something big but it's definitely something to take notice especially for a game like this as a bit you know action you, we get like this cutscene at one point in the fight and then like the iron blood orphans ost starts playing Motta. Motta. Motta yokose. And I'm like, wow, 
I'm really hoping that the game also has a bunch of like the OSTs from the other shows that they're pulling the characters from because remember this is going to be like a lot of different series put in together and of, of course I explained it but like calling it the G universe and like people are distorting history so that's a way to like get all of your favorite suits together. Personally I look at this and I'm like I can't wait for August like I really want to play the game. I'm hoping they might consider like releasing a demo of some sorts. I think that would be amazing to just give us a bit of a tease to hold on. I mean, there's also not a long wait. The game is coming out like the end of August and we are already in July. So it's coming out August 24th and we're already like the beginning of July. So it's like a month and like 20 something days to wait for the game to come out. But yeah, I mean, that's it for me. I am excited for this. I love what I saw with the gameplay that they uploaded but as always is not about me what are your thoughts are you liking what you see with the gameplay here are you maybe concerned or you're just like i'm gonna skip feel free to leave your thoughts down below this has been oblivious gamer and i hope you'll have a wonderful day or night wherever you are